Okay, sugar. Come on over here, sweetie. Let's break it down. Glycolysis is a series of reactions, enzymatic actions, energy transactions. Takes glucose and molecules of sugary, breaks it down to NADH and ATP. It's an anaerobic cytoplasmic pathway that amazes. Organized easily into three phases, investment, cleavage, and energy harvest. Tell me later which one you'd like best. Investment, activation, energy supplied. Cleavage, our six carbon sugar divides. Harvest, we get our energy yield. So beautiful, so intricate, keep your eyes peeled. Glycolysis. Come on, sugar. Come on, sugar. For the breakdown. For the breakdown. Investments like striking a match. That energy you put in makes the fire catch. For glycolysis investments to ATPs, which act as activation energy. Enzymes take phosphates from ATPs. Jam them on a glucose, rearranging it to fructose, leaving fructose one six bisphosphate on the table with two phosphates. It's highly unstable, moving us to the second phase, the cleaving of fructose bisphosphate. Because glycolysis means split in sugar, you can see. Cleavage yields two molecules with carbons three. One is glyceraldehyde three phosphate G3P. It continues on our pathway, broken down for energy. But the second one, an enzyme, will immediately convert into a second G3P. Glycolysis. Come on, sugar, come on, sugar, for the breakdown, for the breakdown. Phase 3, G3P, gets rearranged and oxidized by an enzymatic assembly line that harvests energy from each G3P, one NADH and two ATPs. Double this yield for G3P to two NADH and four ATPs. That's the gross yield for every glucose in. A generous accounting of glycolysis is win, but two ATPs were invested in phase one, so you net just two. You can use your jumper run, put two in, get four out, your net gain is two. Two ATPs that you can use. If that doesn't seem like very much, it's cause it ain't. There's tons of energy left in pyruvate. The two, three carbon molecules were left with at the end, and what happens to pyruvate's going to depend on the metabolic pathway where pyruvate gets sent. If it's anaerobic, it'll be fermented, but in aerobic cells, pyruvate's termination will be the Krebs cycle and total oxidation. Glycolysis, come on sugar, come on sugar for the breakdown, for the breakdown.